Hello everyone, um, I have promised in the previous talking video that uh, I will uh, make a video about the power cables that I use and I used before. So therefore let's uh, start and um, I will uh, start with a very affordable uh, Chinese cable called Macintosh. I think Macintosh doesn't manufacture their own cables, but uh, this one is, uh, I guess, uh, Chinese fantasy. And uh, this one is uh, a rather fat one um, and silver plated. So this was uh, the cable that I tried first and uh, because it was so popular on the Chinese site and um, it gives um, it gives a lot uh, over a standard uh, printer cable it it has a much stronger and bigger base it has much more space much more uh, the sound stage is much bigger and uh, being uh, silver plated it's also a little bit harsh so I think that's the main downside of this cable otherwise for, the, for this price it's very hard to, to beat such a cable the plugs are kind of standard Chinese which uh, you can you can find on most cables that they manufacture. Then, uh, so this was what I started with and actually I'm no longer using a single green Macintosh cable in my system. I, the next one I found and I moved on to is this Furutech replica knockoff and uh, this uh, the original one costs around 2000 euros as much as i've checked um, but this one you can get for i don't know 60 100 euros and uh, it's a very good cable it's uh, it has a big sound stage it's uh, it doesn't sound harsh at all uh, i think they advertise it as occ copper uh, so that is single crystal copper and uh, also uh, Korea treated but uh, neither of, of these things is possible to verify i guess but um, but I have at least uh, three power cables like this at the moment in my system and uh, I don't try too hard to replace them because I think they they provide all of the all of the things I need. Uh, the sound is maybe if we could talk about the downsides of such a cable I think it sounds uh, very soft and if you are looking for a faster sound, uh, more attack, uh, it may not be the right choice. This could be uh, explained uh, probably because of the OCC copper. I think, I think I've read uh, that it's... Uh, it's much smoother sounding usually and if you want uh, a power cable for rock you should go for OFC cable OFC copper cable instead of OCC the last uh, the last cable that I acquired is a very interesting breed and uh, it's a uh, custom made by a fellow here in Vilnius and uh, um, my friend which uh, one of my friends uh, has at least six cables like these 
and once he he brought one uh, actually two cables uh, to a listening session uh, at my home and we plugged in the first one uh, to my system and I wasn't I couldn't believe what I heard it's uh, it provided a deeper bass uh, more bass uh, the sound stage was wider and uh, the sound was much more organic overall compared to the to this Furutech knockoff and uh, yeah, so we, we plugged the, the first one uh, on the power amplifier and the uh, uh, second one on the DAC and it totally transformed uh, the sound of my system. So then, um, yeah, then I found out uh, it uh, costs uh, more than I want to pay. Um, at that time uh, it was uh, 600 euros, now it's 700, um, but um, after a while I, I was just getting back to these cables and took one for a trial uh, for three weeks, actually it was the same one, this one, and um, I got so used to that firm and, and wide and clear sound that uh, I decided that um, it's um, it's probably a good idea to purchase one one cable and uh, so I did so this is this is the one I own and uh, um, the author of the cable told a bit uh, about its construction so it's uh, two um, two wires uh, being five square millimeters uh, each one, um, and it's uh, old copper. Uh, I think he mentioned telefunken copper. Um, the upper parts, uh, as you can see, mostly they are wood, and it's. Uh, and it's heavy, dense uh, wood, which uh, which all helps with um, the author's theory of fighting the resonances in the cable. So basically, all the materials um, work together to to lower the resonances to make the cable not to vibrate and uh, also to be resistant to RF and other um, other pollution that you can uh, have at your home or around your system. Um, the plugs are also handmade. These, for example, are these um, contacts here. They are uh, copper and they are gold plated. And he does his own gold plating and it's um, it's, and it's uh, 0.6 micron, which is very thick, um, as much as I've been, uh, I have been explained. The other end is um, partially plastic, partially wooden. The internal contacts are also handmade. But um, yeah, this uh, main part has uh, at least nine layers of shielding, and that's why it's so thick. The, the short, these um, smaller diameter parts have less shielding, I think it's six layers of uh, shielding, but uh, the most important part I was told is, is the, the long one. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's the main uh, the main power cable on my amplifier now and uh, I was uh, I think um, it's a very good match for my system at the moment and uh, if anyone is interested in this cable I can I can share the details with you um, that's about it that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for watching and uh, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Bye bye.